5 Intimate and Romantic Elopement Ideas for Couples Who Want to Keep It Small and Personal Plus Fun Facts Are you and your partner thinking about eloping but want to keep it small and intimate? If so, you're in the right place. An elopement is a small, non-traditional wedding ceremony with just the couple and sometimes a few close friends or family members. It's a beautiful option for couples who want to focus on their love and commitment to each other rather than the traditional wedding trappings. Plus, having a small and intimate ceremony allows you to be more creative and personalize your special day. In this video, we'll explore 5 intimate and romantic elopement ideas for couples who want to keep it small and personal. From beach elopements to mountain elopements and everything in between, there's something for every couple looking to make their elopement unique and special. So if you're considering an elopement, keep watching for inspiration and ideas to help you plan the perfect ceremony. Number 5. Beach Elopement There's nothing quite like the sound of waves crashing, the smell of salt water in the air, and the feel of sand between your toes to set the mood for a romantic and intimate elopement. A beach elopement is perfect for couples who love the great outdoors and want to exchange vows surrounded by natural beauty. Choosing the perfect beach location First, you'll need to decide on the perfect beach location. Is there a specific beach that holds special meaning to you and your partner? Maybe it's the beach where you had your first date or got engaged. Or perhaps you just love eloping on a secluded, tropical beach. Whatever your preference, make sure to choose a location that is meaningful and memorable for you both. Tips for decorating and styling the ceremony Once you've chosen your beach location, it's time to start thinking about decorating and styling the ceremony. Keep it simple and let the beach's natural beauty speak for itself. A few ideas for decorating and styling your beach elopement include Using seashells and sand dollars as part of your ceremony decor Incorporating tropical flowers into your bouquet and boutonniere Wearing beach, inspired wedding attire, such as a flowy white dress or linen suit Using beachy elements like driftwood or palm leaves as part of your ceremony arch or altar. Having a barefoot ceremony to feel the sand between your toes. And don't forget to bring blankets or pillows for a cozy and comfortable ceremony. Number 4. Mountain Elopement. A mountain elopement might be a perfect choice if you and your partner are adventure seekers who love the great outdoors. Imagine exchanging vows surrounded by stunning mountain views, crisp mountain air, and a babbling brook in the background. It's a magical and romantic setting for an intimate elopement. Stunning mountain locations for an elopement. There are so many gorgeous mountain locations to choose from for your elopement. Do you dream of eloping in the Rocky Mountains, with their jagged peaks and alpine meadows? Or perhaps you prefer the misty and mysterious forests of the Pacific Northwest. Maybe you want to elope in the Appalachian Mountains, with their rolling hills and charming small towns. No matter what mountain scenery you prefer, there's a location that will be perfect for you. How to plan a mountain elopement in the winter. If you're planning a mountain elopement in the winter, there are a few extra things to remember. First, check the weather forecast and come prepared with warm clothing and gear. It's also a good idea to plan a backup location in inclement weather. And don't forget to pack any necessary items for a winter elopement, such as hand warmers, hot cocoa, and blankets. Number 3. Backyard Elopement There's something unique and intimate about getting married in your backyard. It's a place that holds special memories and meaning for you and your partner, and it's a perfect setting for a small and intimate elopement. Using your own backyard or a friend's backyard. You're all set if you're lucky enough to have an expansive and private backyard to host your elopement. But if you don't have a backyard, don't worry. You can always ask a friend or family member if you can use their backyard for your elopement. 
Just make sure to get their permission first and offer to help with any preparations or clean up. Ideas for decorating and personalizing the space. One of the great things about backyard elopement is that you can decorate and personalize the space however you'd like. Here are a few ideas to get you started. Use your own furniture or borrow some from friends to create a cozy and comfortable ceremony space. Incorporate your favorite flowers and plants into the decor. Hang string lights or paper lanterns to create a romantic ambience. Use a particular backyard location as the backdrop for your ceremonies, such as a tree with sentimental value or a beautiful garden. Set up a small reception area with snacks and drinks for you and your guests to enjoy after the ceremony. Number 2. City Elopement If you're a city, dwelling couple who loves the energy and excitement of the city, then a city elopement might be the perfect choice for you. Imagine exchanging vows surrounded by towering skyscrapers, bustling streets, and the energy of a city that never sleeps. It's a unique and romantic setting for an intimate elopement. Eloping in a city you love. The first step to planning a city elopement is choosing the perfect city. Is there a city that holds special meaning to you and your partner? Maybe it's the city where you first met or where you fell in love. Or perhaps you just love the idea of eloping in a vibrant and alive city. Whatever city you choose, make sure it's a place that is meaningful and memorable for you both. Ideas for city elopements. Once you've chosen your city, it's time to start thinking about location. Here are a few ideas for city elopements. Elope at a beautiful park with stunning views of the city skyline. Exchange vows at a rooftop venue with panoramic views of the city. Get married at a historic landmark or museum with special meaning to you. Have a small ceremony in your own apartment or at a friend's apartment with a view of the city. Elope at a city hall or courthouse and follow it up with a romantic city walk or dinner at a particular restaurant. Number 1. Winery Elopement a winery elopement might be a perfect choice for couples who love wine and the beautiful landscapes that go along with it. Imagine exchanging vows surrounded by rolling hills, rows of grapevines, and the smell of fermentation. It's a romantic and sophisticated setting for an intimate elopement. Renting a winery for your elopement. Many wineries offer their facilities for weddings and elopements. Start by researching and reaching out to wineries in your desired location to see if they are available for your elopement date and if they have any special packages or pricing. Be sure to visit the winery in person to get a feel for the space and ensure it's the right fit for you. Ideas for incorporating wine and grapevines into your ceremony. Once you've chosen your winery, it's time to start thinking about how to incorporate wine and grapevines into your ceremony. Here are a few ideas. Use wine bottles or corks as part of your ceremony decor. Include a wine barrel in your ceremony as the altar or as a backdrop. Serve wine during the ceremony as a special touch. Use grapevines or grape clusters in your floral arrangements. Have a wine tasting as part of your reception. Eloping is a beautiful option for couples who want to focus on their love and commitment to each other rather than the traditional wedding trappings. And having a small and intimate ceremony allows you to be more creative and personalize your special day. So if you're considering an elopement, we hope these ideas have inspired and helped you plan the perfect ceremony. Elopements used to be associated with couples running away to get married secretly, often against the wishes of their families. Many couples today choose to elope as a conscious and deliberate decision. Remember, the most important thing is to choose a location and theme that is meaningful and memorable for you and your partner. So have fun and enjoy this particular time in your life together. How was the video? Did you enjoy it? Give your valuable response in our comments section below. Please subscribe to our channel Best for Bride for future updates and visit our website www.bestforbride.com